The speech language pathologist will support your child all the way through the school, whether you have a child with a diploma track or you have a child who needs more supports in the system. Um, and we basically work with your child at the level that they need. There are kids that need one-on-one -on -one support and they are pulled out of the classroom and we work with them. Those are usually um, discrete skills that they need to drill on if you have a child who has difficulty saying certain sounds. So like that that's the type of skill that you're going to work out of the classroom. Or if we're just starting with a task, starting to work on something like the picture exchange communication system. You need out of the classroom first to kind of learn that skill and then come back into the classroom. We also work in small group settings, which can either be in, as part of a group in a classroom. I've been part of the um, rotation in the classroom. I've also pulled children out into groups. And we also work supporting in the classroom. So maybe um, Peggy would need help with all the myriad of wonderful visual support she had. The speech therapist is there to help with that set up those systems to work with the child and understanding their schedule, um, all the receptive things, the understanding things, the understanding of the first and the understanding of the word. We're also working on the expressive portion of it. So if your child is not verbal, maybe we're working with the picture exchange communication system. Maybe some children are working on signing. We're also working with everyone, parents, staff, to work with the child to accept what it is that the child is doing to communicate. Initially, maybe it's just negative behaviors, so we'll work to bring those around to something that works a little more positively out in the community and in the school, but gestures are a way to communicate, pointing is a way to communicate, eye gaze is a way to communicate. So we work with that, we support the child with what they have and then try to give them more and move on with them for that. Um, the other hat that I wear is the Adaptive Technology Assessment Center, and there are two of us that work there. I do what they call the Augmentative Alternative Communication portion for the children who are nonverbal or minim minimally verbal. We come out and we do assessments. That can be asked for by a parent, it can be asked for by staff. It needs to be formally asked for by the staff, but a parent can initiate. And we come out and do evaluations, and we see how the child is doing. We run through a program with them. We see, you know, do they show interest in other things? Um, can we get them interested in the things we bring? Usually we do pretty well. I have a whole bucket of toys, and I usually have something that somebody is interested in. Then we figure out, can they understand that this photograph means that toy. If I give you the photograph, can I get that toy? Then we'll move to symbols. Do we understand that the symbols mean that toy? And if I give you the symbol, which looks a little different, I'll get that toy. Then we move to what we call our light text systems. So that's the picture exchange communication system. Things called flip and talks, topic boards. Can they scan an array of pictures and point to the one they want or give you a card for what they want? We go from there to the electronic devices and there's a whole bunch of them is what they call the static display devices, I can't talk on this, which there is, it's terrible. These static display devices, there we go, and those are the ones where they point to the button and it says it, but the picture just stays there. And then there are the dynamic display devices that you might get the picture for play, and the whole display changes like on your iPod or your iPhone, and it comes up with all the toys that you want, and you push crayons, and then the whole display changes again and gives you a bunch of colors. So is the child able to follow that and then able to get back to so that's what the AAC portion of the Adaptive Technology Assessment Center is. We also have an assistive technology portion, and that we do assessment for their children's access to curriculum. Is the child having difficulty writing? So if they are, is it a rhetoric thing? Will they do better with maybe a keyboard than a pencil? Will they do better speaking? And if their speech is good, there's a way to just speak it, like um, the businessmen used to do when their secretaries got taken away. That technology has now been brought for our kids, which is really nice. Um, are they having more difficulty? Because cognitively, they're having more difficulty with this skill. So then there are software programs where they go whole word instead of letter by letter to create sentences and to have things read to them. So those are the two things. I'll be happy to answer any questions later. The speech therapist and adaptive technology assessment.